morning student welcome to online classes in previous session we have discussed what is determinant and how to evaluate second order determinant third order determinant so in this session we have discussed minor and cofactor of the elements of a square matrix before we discuss minor and cofactor of the matrix we discuss some previous lesson that is how to evaluate second order first order or third order determinant so take some examples to understand clearly that how to minor and cofactor of a square matrix first of all suppose a is a matrix having one elements suppose three is an element it is a one elements in a matrix so it is a one order matrix so the determinant of this matrix is 3 because it contains only one numbers similarly if a matrix having one elements and one elements is suppose one minus 5 it is a square matrix because it, it contains one rows and one column so it is a one so the determinant of a is also minus because it contains one elements similarly as you know determinant of a matrix that means a matrix must be a square matrix so if a matrix 2 3 5 1 suppose and it is a matrix of second second order that is the 2 into 2 order matrix if we calculate the determinant of this matrix then we define determinant of A because the symbol is determinant of A so 2, 3, 5, 1 determinant of 2, 3, 5, 1 how to expand in previous session we have discussed so here is 2 into 1 first we multiply the first 2 into 1 that is 2 minus 15 that is minus 30 so in this way we evaluate how to determine first order how to determine second order determinant next we discuss suppose a is a matrix, a is a square, it must be a square matrix and it is in 3 into 3 order because it contains 3 rows and 3 columns. Now we evaluate the determinant of A. In the previous session we have discussed in third order determinant, in third order determinant we can be expand using 6 way but we can expand only any one way suppose we expand along suppose R2 we expand along R2 as you know the sign of the third order determinant will be plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so if we expand along R2 so here the elements along R2 that is 5, 0 and 8 but here the sign R 5 is negative because we expand along R2 so the first element is 5 the sign is minus so minus 5 into in this element we are deleting rows and column of this element so if we delete this element so we get 3, 1 and 1, 3 3, 1 and 1, 3. Now proceed the second element. Second element is 0 and the sign is plus. So plus 0 into 0 into means 0. So here we write only 0. Now third element of uh, R2 that is 8 and the sign is minus 8. So minus 8 into here we delete the rows and column of this element 8. So we delete the elements containing 8. So we get 2, 3, 7, 1. 
So minus 5 into 9 minus 1 minus 8 into 2 minus 21. If we calculate, then we get minus 8 into minus 19. So if we calculate, then we get the solution. So in this way, we evaluate or if we calculate first order matrix, second order matrix and third order matrix. But in this session, we have discussed minor and cofactor of the elements of a square matrix. First, we have to discuss what is minor. So, can the definitions minor, the minor of the element Aij of a square matrix is a second order determinant obtained by deleting the row and column where Aij occur. The minor of Aij is denoted by Amij. So, now some examples here to define how to calculate minor and then proceed to cofactor. Suppose let A is a matrix, A is must be a square matrix, money, and here the elements are suppose A11, A12, A13, here the positions 21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. So it is a matrix, a square matrix. That means it is three third order or we will say three to three order matrix because it contains three number of rows and three number of columns here. Now the minor of the element Aij because in this matrix there are nine elements here. So we obtain every element, we obtain two minor of every element. That means minor of First element is A11. So minor of A11 is denoted by here the minor of any element is denoted by M in form of M. So minor of A11 is equal to M11. So what is the value of M11? So in the definition by deleting the row and column where A is occur. That means Minor of A11 means A11 is the rows and columns containing A11. We delete this. So we get A22, A23, A32, A33. And as you know, how to calculate the second order determinant? So that the cross multiplication here A22, A33 minus A23. So, it is the procedure to calculate second order determinants. Similarly, in this matrix there are 9 elements. So, first we calculate the first element that is A11 and the next one is minor of A12. So, minor of A12 means we can denote in the form of M. So, we can write M12. So, the value of M12 according to definition in this element A12 we delete the rows and column containing A12 so here the values are A21, A23, A31, A33 if we evaluate the second order term then we get A21 minus sorry A11 A21 into A33 minus A23 into A31. Similarly, minor of A13 that means M13 because it is the minor of which element? A13 elements. So M13, M13 means this element and if we delete rows and column containing A13 then we get A21, A22, A31, A32. If we calculate them, so we get A21 into A32 minus A22 into A31. So in this way we can evaluate M21, 
M22, M23, M31, M32, and M in this way. So there are as in this matrix the nine elements, so we can uh, find nine minors. So this is the procedure to evaluate minor. Now next one is cofactor of the elements of the square matrix. So this is the procedure how to find minor. But next one is cofactor. Cofactor. The cofactor of AIJ is denoted by CI. So in the in the case of minor, it is denoted by M. Similarly, in the sense of cofactor, so it is denoted by C. So cofactor of AIG is denoted by C I. And how to find C I J? C I J is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into M. So that is the formula that we evaluate cofactor. But we have to find the cofactor. Then first we have to find what is minor, and then we found cofactor. So this is the procedure to find cofactor. If suppose there are nine elements, so the first element that means cofactor of a one one and that is generated by C one one. So if here I is equal to one and J is also one. If we compare them, then we get I is equal to one and J is also one. If we put this formula, then we get minus one to the power one plus one into M one one. So we get minus one power two. That means we get positive. So we finally. Get M1. That means cofactor of A11 is also equal to M1. Similarly, cofactor of A12 that we can write in the form of C12 in the form of C. So if we put this formula, then we get minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into M12. If we calculate minus 1 to the power 3, minus 1 to 3, that means we get negative. So, minus of M1. Similarly, A13 is equal to C13, minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 into M13. And that we get, because the power is all even number, so we get positive. So we get finally M1. In this way, we proceed C21, C22, that's all. So this is the procedure to evaluate minor and cofactor of a matrix. So we take some examples to understand clearly that first we calculate minor and cofactor of a second order, then we proceed to third order. Now take some examples here. Find the minor and cofactor of the matrix of the matrix 2 3 minus 1 5 get the solution let a is in the matrix 
having elements 2, 3, minus 1, 5, which also a square matrix. If it is not a square matrix, you cannot find minor and more factor. So, here A is in second order matrix. Now, in second order matrix, there are four elements. So, we found four minor and four co -factor. So, here the positions are first element is A11. So, minor of A11 is called M11. So, first is M11 and then find M12 and M21 and M2. So, here are the four elements. So, we define four and number of minors and we have the positions here. So, M11 means the elements of two. They are deleting the rows and columns of this element. So, if we deleting the rows and columns of this element, this element means two, then we get only five. So, here is the solution of M11. Now, M12, M12 means, have the position M12, M12 means first row and second column elements. So, here is the elements. And how to find my M12? In this, we found the minor, then we delete rows and columns of this element 3, then we get only minus 1. Similarly, M21, M21 means second row, first column elements. If we delete the other element, then we get 3. M and plot total is 5 elements, and you delete the row and column of containing is 5, then we get 2. So here is the value of minor. And as we, we have to find the cofactor, so we write in the right side of cofactor and C11, C12, C21, and C22. So as you know, there are four elements, so it also has four number of cofactors here. So C11, as you know the formula that minus 1 to the power i plus j. That means minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 because it contains 1, 1. Here i is equal to also 1 and j is also 1. So minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into m11. So if we evaluate the minus 1 to the 2, that is minus 1 to the power 2, and a value of m11 is 5, so we get only 5, the positive number. But some tricks here to evaluate cofactor easily. If you add them 1, 1, 1 plus 1, if we add them, if it is odd, if it is odd, then change the sign. If it is even, then write the same value of the minor. Once again, how to cofactor easily? If uh, directly you can write plus or minus, if i plus j is even, then you can directly write the same values of minor. If i plus j is odd, then you can change the sign of the minor. So it is a simple method to evaluate easily. Now change this formula. Now, you add these values. 1 here, the value is 1, 1. If we add 1 and 1, that is 2, and 2 is an even number. If even number, the same value of minus. So, we get right the value of direct 5. Similarly, C1, how to find C1? If C1, 2. If we add them first, 1 and 2. If we add, then we get 3. And 3 is an odd number. If it is odd, then we can change the values of minor. So here the minor is minus, so you change the value, that means we get change the value means only sign. Change the sign of the value. So the value is 1. Similarly, 2, 1. If we add them, then we get 3, and 3 is also one number, and we change the sign of the minor. So it is minus. And similarly, cofactor C. 2 to elements, cofactor of 2 to elements. So here, if we add them 2 and 2, that is 4, and 4 is an even number, so it is same value of minus, so it is. So, 
here is the solution of second order matrix. So, here is the manner and here is the cofactor of each elements of this matrix. Now, take another example of a third order matrix. Find the minor and cofactor of the matrix 2, 1, 0, minus 3, 5, 4, 1, 6, minus 7. So, here is a matrix and we take as a third order matrix. Now, we evaluate the solution of this matrix. So, let a is the matrix having 2, 1, 0, minus 3, 5, 4, 1, 6, and minus 7. So, first write the matrix. So, in this matrix there are 9 elements. So, we have to find 9 number of minor and 9 number of cofactor. So, first we write the position of this element. So, we can write M11, M12, M13. We write in systematic way M11, M12, M13 in the row wise and then M21, M22, M23, M31, M32 and the last one M33. So these are the nine elements. So first we have to evaluate how to find minor. So first here the value is M11. M11 means the position of M11 is 2. We have to find the deleting the rows and the column of this element 2. If we delete the rows and the column of this element, so we get 5, 4, 6, minus 7. As you know in previous example, that we did a two second order matrix. So we delete the rows and column, then we get only one element. So one element, that means its determinant is also same. But in third order determinant, we con convert to second order. That means in M11, M11 means the number of elements of 2, so we delete the rows and columns, so we get 5, 4, 6, minus 8. Now, expand the second order determinant, we directly write H. 5 into minus and then minus 35 minus 6 into 4 that is 24. Now we calculate them minus 59. So this value of M11, similarly M12, M12 means position of 1, 2. If we deleting rows and columns of one element, so we get minus 3, 4, 1, minus 7. If we calculate them, then we get 21 minus 4 that is 70. And the value of M13 is 0, you will be deleting rows and columns, so you get minus 3, 5, 1, 6. And we calculate them minus 18, minus 5, that is minus 23. Similarly, M21. M21 means these are the elements from M21, you will be deleting rows and columns from this element, then we get 1, 0, 6, minus 7. If we expand them, then minus 7, minus 0, that is minus 7. Similarly, M22, M22 means the second row, second column element, we will be deleting rows and columns, then we get 2, 0, 1, minus 7. That is minus 14, minus 0, that is minus 14. Similar way, we can denote M23, M23 means 4 elements, if we are deleting rows and columns, then we get 2, 1, 1, 6. That is 12 minus 1, that is 11. Similarly, M31, these are the elements 31, if we delete rows and columns, then we get 1, 0, 5, 4. 4 minus 0, that is 4. Similarly, M32, M32 means this is the element of M32, if we delete rows and columns, then we get 2, 0, minus 3, 4, then we get 8 minus 0, that is 8. And the last one is M33, and the value of M33 is here, minus 7. If we delete in rows and columns, then we get 2, 1, minus 3, 5. If we calculate 
then we get 10 minus of minus 3 that is plus 3 that is 30. So these are the solution of minor. Now we calculate or evaluate cofactor. So write the cofactor C11, C12, C13, C21, C22, C23, C31, C32 and the last one is C3. Now as you calculate minor then we can write directly in cofactor. So in previous example we give some tricky that if we add them, there are elements F, add them if odd, then same values if odd, then change the value of the minor. So if we add one one, that is we get two, so it is an even number there. So minor is minus 59, so the value is also minus 59. C12. C12 means it is an odd number if we add them. Well, it is not an odd number. If we add them, one or two, one or two add, then we get three. Three is an odd number, so we changes the sign of the minor, so minus 70. Similarly, C13, if we add them, then we get four, and four is an even number. Even number means same values. Similarly, we can write sign change, same value, sign change, same value, sign change, and the value is same. So these are the solutions to find minor and operator. I hope that you have understand clearly. Have a nice day.